I don't give a fuck about you you being popping or you used to be popping or I don't give a fuck about your TikTok. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Just let's You're stay regular. Okay, okay, okay. So T Rail and Heather got into it on back on Fig. Now, if you make content with your significant other, this could be a good example of why y'all need to set boundaries of what you will and will not talk about. It seems like T Rail's getting kind of tired of Heather talking about the past she had with men. Here's what happened. He's been overweight. I've been popping in my time. Like I was skinny, whatever had all the niggas. Then I got fat. I had a babies. All the you start feeling down on yourself and you start feeling like that like you're not nothing i've been there it's very hard bro what I the fuck been there. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, fuck. let's cut this out it's what the fuck does, too. what does what the fuck is you being skinny and having all <laughs> got to do with anything that, hold on hold on because hold on hold on, he said he doesn't because, love hold, on. Be, hold on but you've been with me for so long why do you keep talking about you having all the niggas and all this we don't care <laughs> I don't we care. don't give a fuck. I can't blame T-Rail for getting mad at this. Who really want to hear that their wife used to get all the dudes? So you telling me all these dudes got to get inside of you with no commitment and now I'm stuck with you for the rest of my life? It kind of make you feel like you got last place. I understand you're going to talk about your exes in a relationship, but don't go online in front of thousands of people and tell them how you had all the men. And yes, it is a double standard. I'm sure T-Rail went around saying he had all the yo's and stuff, but when a woman does that, it does seem like she's all used up. I don't care. Look, hold on. Wait, look, hold on, hold on. But we don't care about you. Thought no, you was I'm... popping. You're popping now or you want to pop. We don't care. No. They accept you. They love you for who you are already. We don't give a fuck. Like and subscribe for me real quick. Get to help your brother out. About you stop bringing that whack ass shit up, dog. What? Like, that that was fat? Whack. Or no, or... Just, just stop bringing whack ass shit up about... We all the niggas are the niggas like shut the fuck up like the people love you already dog you no, don't have I to you don't have that. to we don't have to you don't have to bring up your past or you know what I'm saying? The, what you what you do, what you did in the past, or now T Rail probably blew up like this because of the comments Heather already made in the past. She said she could have had any rapper, and she had the chance to do Lil Wayne, but she didn't do it. This I could have had my way with any fucking rapper I wanted, nigga. Wow. I could have had my way with anybody, but I chose T Rail. At the end of the day, I chose yes. T Rail. Oh, Let me tell you this. Come on, six thousand. Come on, six thousand fucking viewers and back on thing. I'm gonna tell you this. I I was supposed to go upstairs and fuck Lil Wayne, but I didn't. Oh! T Rail had a smile on his face right there, but you could tell it was eating him up on the inside. Adam22 mentioned something about Heather and Lil Wayne on the podcast, and here was T Rail's response. Yeah, I know y'all had a lot of bullshit to talk about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, it's a green light on Adam now since you bring it up my bitch nigga in your podcast, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> a green light on you nigga i'm just letting you know right now do you know since you bringing up you bringing up heather sanders in your podcast i'm hey, on your head cause. hey as soon as i heard it i was like this oh, it's over for you cuz you know you didn't open up a whole nother can of worms hey. in this motherfucker don't be messy t rose the messy one. Oh my god he starts fire what? and he sits here and goes <laughs> oh my god he sits here like mm, heather sanders did you really think she did anything with us <laughs> I said, oh, whoa, he is not abiding by the rules, hey. is he? It looked like it was eating at him little by little by little. Then when Heather finally said this, he blew up. Because what she said in this recent pod wasn't really as bad as the Lil Wayne thing. But you know, there was probably a lot of trolls annoying him. He probably saw a bunch of comments telling him that his girl effed Lil Wayne. Even though she said she didn't do it, the internet was spinning that around quick. You know, to have people respect you as who you are, people haven't even really got to really know you yet. Like, no they one really knows. are though so you don't have to keep saying that shit to people you know what I'm saying? just give your perspective i'm really just trying to teach you right now give your perspective on what's going on right now in the moment and you good you don't have to keep bringing up what's going on or no you know but i'm saying? just trying, trying to, to explain people, you know to saying? him how i felt yeah, that, like, yeah how you felt but you ain't gotta like say that. well i had this and i was popping when i was popping like no you wasn't popping like you wasn't like you never was popping yes i like, was. You, was like but i don't care no you wasn't I, and i'm not yes, gonna I never, was. but you want to explain it so go ahead and explain it because if you want to explain it just get it all out now because we don't give a fuck right here it looks like t-rail got in his feelings a little bit by him saying she wasn't popping it sounds like he's saying she was a nobody i don't know if he meant she wasn't popping or she wasn't thotting they both sound a little intoxicated and you know the truth kind of comes out when you intoxicated it don't be a hundred percent the truth but it do be a hundred percent of what you want to say seems like he's getting some things off his chest no and I don't you either. don't care i don't 
I don't. So you explain it. So because that you you always. I'm even lost what I'm even talking about. I right know. Now. So I don't give a fuck about you you being popping or you used to be popping or I don't give a fuck about your TikTok. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Just let's stay hater. regular. Let's just, just stay regular. Whoever sent the super chat, I'm yeah, just saying man. love yourself. Yeah, love it's yourself. okay to not feel normal. It's okay to not feel your normal self, but you yeah. will get there. And people will love you for that. If that's where you're meant to and stay, if that's you. where you're meant and to be, you'll be that. And you you'll will. stay that. I'm saying yeah, that. They, they, so they, we right. And we right. We don't care about what you was doing when you was younger. You thought you was popping with all the niggas. Like our, all the I'm people or all the cars or all the money or all of that. Yeah, and T-Rail cannot get past the part where she was talking about other men. They should make a T-chart and put it on a fridge. One side says what to talk about, and the other says what not to talk about. On the do not side, it should say in big words, anything from your sexual past. Because T-Rail is not having it. He said he don't care about your TikTok. Where did that come from? That had nothing to do with the conversation. You see his eyes is blinking so fast you can tell he's pissed off and not thinking straight. And at this point, all Heather's trying to do is show love to the super chat we know everybody that god well, we put know on this though earth, no, but we know though we don't but have everybody to explain. god put on this earth should feel like there's something you know, but you are something we feel that we know that but you don't have to express it all the time you know what i mean that's how you know like when you talking like it, it just comes off wrong like we love you we fuck with you we don't have to you don't have to tell people you know what I'm saying? What you've done and what you're doing. Like, we, we fuck with you already. You I'm know what I mean? I'm not saying that. You know what I'm saying? But next next topic, you know what I'm saying? I get it. The whole time Smack was over there not saying a word. He looked like he's so used to this. He probably see them folks get drunk and argue every weekend. But tell me what y'all think in the comments. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and do whatever you gotta do for the rest of the day.